Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to go over how you can add checkboxes into Google Sheets and also how we can make those checkboxes do things using Google Apps Script. And in this example, I'm just going to set it so that if a checkbox is ticked, it will generate uh, a date and if it's unchecked, it'll clear that date. So if you're receiving items or, or shipping items and want to you know, just populate when that checkbox was ticked, this video will show you how you can do that. So in column A, I'm going to have my dates. And in column B, my checkboxes. And so to insert a checkbox into Google Sheets is really easy. Just go to insert checkbox. If I want more, just drag it down. And if I click on one of these checkboxes, you'll notice it changes the value to true. By default, they're unchecked and set to false. But I I can check and uncheck these, but nothing else is going to happen. So what I need to do is set up some app script to make this do something for us. So I'm going to go into the extensions tab here and select app script. And it's going to open up app script right now. It's blank. And what I'm going to use is a function called on edit with an argument of, of E by default. And so this function runs anytime there's a change on the sheet. So I'm going to set up some variables here. Let the range equal to that E argument dot range. I'm going to select an active row equal to range dot get row. Active column range dot get column. So this just tells me you know, what the active row and column is, where that change happened. Let the cell value equal to range.getValue. And then I'm going to assign the sheet, let sheet equal to spreadsheet app dot get active sheet. So I've got my variables set up. Now I'm going to create an if function to say, okay, if the active column is equal to two, which means column B, then I'm gonna launch another if function to say, okay, if the cell value is equal to false, then I'm gonna select the sheet, get range, get that active row, and select one from my column because I want to be the first column and clear the content. So it's going to clear any value that's there. So that's that part of the if statement. And if it's not false, meaning it's true, then I'm going to open up another one here and say sheet get range active row comma one. And this time I'm going to select set value new date and this is going to enter in a date so I'll make sure I've got functional closed save this and what I'm going to do is now test this out so if I check on this you'll see now the date populates today is April 26th uncheck it and it disappears so I can do this so as I'm checking off things so obviously over the course of whenever you do this these will update based on the current date so then you can easily keep track of you know when these items were ticked off when they were completed whatever the case may be so using app script you can allow these checkboxes to have that functionality the key is you know checking which column you wanted to look at you know if you're looking at column c then you change the active column to number three to say, okay, look at the third column. Is this change happening there? If it is, is that cell false or is it true? If it's false, clear it. If it's true, then push the date into the active row in the first column. So you can obviously change these if you don't want it to be in the first column, you want the second and so on and so forth. So that's how we can make checkboxes a lot more useful in Google Sheets.